So the beginning of the tour, it uh, started raining, so we're hoping that it's going to clear up, but nonetheless, in the 47 Packard with uh, Diamondback radials on it, we feel pretty comfortable driving in the rain. the restaurant and bar and Bill and Karen of course uh, Ms. Farina are uh, joining us on this and uh, the lobby it's really just fabulous a gorgeous gorgeous little resort so this is the view from our breakfast table I think that's pretty stunning so the resort is on a golf golf course very very nice and uh, now, um, this event was basically a scavenger hunt. So we, um, we each had um, a list of questions that we had to answer. What, how did you feel about the scavenger hunt? Well, let's um, reiterate, well, re-explain that the, uh, the, each car had a list. So we were a team, Bill, myself, and Harry, and I was the navigator and I feel I did pull most of the weight and carried you guys along for second place. Absolutely. If, if, on the other hand, you two would have quit socializing, quit talking about cars so oh. much, we probably would have gone, got, gotten first place. But I see. I'm okay with the second place. Plus the refusal to do a U-turn and backtrack. Exactly. I see. And we don't want to get into that. Okay, all right. Thank you. And Bill, how about you? How, how was I yours? I really enjoyed the event. The scenery was beautiful. The finding so uh, here's the 1947 Packard. And um, I just washed it. So that's something that I tend to do when, I, when <clears throat> I'm on a tour and the car gets uh, really filthy. I like to uh, wash it. Um, you know, and make it look respectable. Uh, plus, it's I think it's better for the car to get the grunge off. Um, anyway, and it, you know, I, I use the trash can uh, from the hotel, which I'm sure they uh, cannot stand. And I use uh, towels from the hotel. Shh, don't tell anyone. I actually use body wash or uh, shampoo uh, in the bucket to you know to provide. Uh, the uh, setting. So uh, here we are, beautiful morning in the uh, Brago, uh, Brago Springs Resort. And uh, look at how just gorgeous it is in this you know, very arid, uh, the desert environment. So this is a 1941 Packard 180 LeBaron Sport Brome. This is on the tour. This is actually the only other classic other than our 47. So um, while we're here in Borrego, they're celebrating uh, Borrego Days, which is kind of a local festival uh, celebrating everything uh, Borrego Desert-ish, whatever that is. So this, uh, aren't, aren't they beautiful together? So the 41 uh, Packard 180 LeBaron Sport Brome and the 47 Custom Super Clipper Club Sedan. Yes. Two of Packard's best. So this, this is the uh, interior of the LeBaron Sport Brome. And uh, look, at, look at the wood. Isn't that, isn't that beautiful? So I'm sitting in the back seat right now. And look at the beautiful dash. Uh, so this uh, this Port Brom is owned by uh, Lee and Mary Lou uh, Johnson from Idlewild, California. Uh, interestingly, uh, Lee's Lee's father 
uh, restored the car back in uh, the early 70s, I believe. I this is uh, Lee, Lee Johnson. Yeah, and my 41 is, uh, is featured in the uh, automobile, collectible automobile magazine for the December 2010. And it's, it's a really nice article on the 3742 Packard Senior 8. Great. Get your copy now. Get it out. Yeah. I'm always <laughs> a pot on the stand. Temecula Wine Country. Yay. We made it. Uh, the final uh, leg of the tour is going back to Old Town Temecula. 